right, let us play Abandoned Ship. First time firing up the game, never played it before. Let's see how we go. Just a quick check on the settings to see everything is all good. Um, always have the music slightly low in the sound effects. Extinguish. Interesting, interesting, interesting. There is a lot. Hopefully, there's a tutorial that will go through all of that. All right, let's get cracking. Um. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I suppose the main campaign is the best. Uh. Okay. For the first time, that's me. Perform auto saves as you play. Captain's logs you may perform manual saves in port. Alright, see how we go. One more. Um, to resort to normal. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to play less than normal. Gee, it's a loud noise though. It's loud music. Uh, Iron Captain mode. You'll be allowed to create manual saves. Alright, so it's like, um, it's like hardcore mode. Interesting. Alright, first things first. Let us reduce the audio somewhat because it is loud. Okay. Better. Let's play. What should we call it? Um, first run. Here we go. It's the Kraken. With only three legs. We assume that's one half of the Kraken, so that would be six. In that moment, the final strand is cut. A burst of clarity, the horror of your recent existence dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others with adulation. A god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Strike them down. Flee this accursed place. Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Shocked, the surprise registers on the second before he too is down. You are unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. You feel a drip from your fingers. You look down at your improvised weapon, a small idol of father. It is cracked and has cut your hand. You are drifting, but something inside snaps you back into reality. You have to move fast. The cells offer the safest route to freedom. Flee. You stride into prison with feigned authority. No matter, this place is unguarded in our, no, their moment of triumph. Escaping alone would be futile, so you grab the keys from the guardroom and approach the prisoners. Will you unlock first? Uh. Character creation, character creation. Okay, press the unlock button to release a crew member. Who will you unlock first? Hmm, good question. The navigator grants a bonus to performing ship maneuvers. The gunner is an expert at reloading weapons. A marine is a trained relief fighter. Useful for boarding actions, nice. A surgeon can heal crew. A sailor repairs the ship at a faster rate. Right, so that's me, the severed one. 
fascinating. I wonder who or what I actually am and how I'm related to that monster kraken thing. The story unfolds. Alright, so... Um... I believe... Probably the navigator would be the best. Let's go the navigator. Nice. Okay, so... Which poor cur will you save next? Um, ship repair? Faster? Well, I assume that it repairs at a normal rate without the sailor, and if that's the only thing that he can do, he's probably not that necessary. Surgeon can heal crew outside of the sick bay. So that means there is a sick bay, which people can go and get healed in. So he's not that essential either. Marine is a trained relief fighter useful for boarding, and the gunner useful in reloading reactions. The gunner is useful at reloading weapons. These two combat focus probably the best. So go the Marine. We'll go MacDonald. Those two guys can stay. Kill. You and your new companions surge through the labyrinth passages. Labyrinth labyrinthine? Labyrinthine passages. Finally, a door. The light seeps through and cracks in the frame. Burst through the door. Oh yeah. Close your eyes for a moment as the sea breeze brushes your face. Looking down at the winding path ahead, you see what you had hoped for, a ship at anchor. It was likely stolen and repurchased by the cult. Repurposed. Time to put it to better use. Here we go. Select crew. Select a crew member by left-clicking them. When selected, they will have an orange outline. Okay, I will select captain. Nice. <clears throat> Move crew by right-clicking. If you right-click somewhere on the deck of the ship, that person will climb aboard. Simple so far. Now move the crew onto the ship. Remember that you left click select, right click move. Also left click drag for a box. Standard. Now what? <clears throat> Cut the ropes that attach your ship to the jetty. Select and then right click. How long does it take? Can you do it? Done. Now man the ship's wheel. <clears throat> um, right. Done. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't need to. Don't need to put the sails up or anything. Sails already up, I guess. Anchor is already up. There's no figure. <clears throat> Sorry. The voice. Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away, a high priest at the head. His scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer. Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. As he speaks, the other cultists disperse, no doubt to begin their pursuit on their own vessels. They'll be sending ships after us. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a close one. The coastal fortifications open fire on the ship as it leaves the jetty. Mortar shells are incoming. Okay, how do I avoid those? We just gotta take it. Alright. Mortar shell has reduced a crew member to zero health. This happens. 
to become incapacitated and gain a negative physical trait. Once incapacitated, you will have a short time to stabilize them. When a crew member is stabilized, they will remain unconscious throughout the battle, but will survive. If you do not stabilize them in time, they will die, but don't worry. In this one instance, we will freeze the timer before it runs out. Not worrying. Select any standing crew member by left-clicking on them. Hover the mouse over the incapacitated crew member and right-click. This guy, I guess. So we'll send them over to stabilize their incapacitated colleague. Note that the surgeons will stabilize much faster than fellow crew. <coughs> right. Don't have any surgeons. Should be okay. The gunner. The gunner is down. Now the gunner is... Okay. The barrage has damaged the ship hull. At the bottom left of the screen is a bar that shows the hull health. Okay. If this bar is empty, then the ship will sink. Similar to FTL. Um, oh yeah, this is interesting. It's divided into sections. During combat, in the bottom right of the screen, the sections and their individual health are displayed. Section health influences the performance of everything in that section. Yellow health means it's 50% effective. Red health means that it won't function at all. <clears throat> oh. Huh. Your crew can repair the ship sections. As that guy's doing, select the crew member, move the mouse cursor into the circled area. Mouse cursor turns my hand right click. So repairs will go faster than one that I have them here. Alright. Uh, the barrage also injured one of the crew. Crew can be seen around the icon on the head. You can heal a crew by sending them to the sick bay. Alright, so we use two. Go to sick bay. It's a table. Or only a bay. Sure, more things below deck will open up. Look at them. It's like two levels below deck. Like twelve rooms. Great. <laughs> All right. So. Let's okay. Yep. Good. Locked. All right. Well, you have been hit by a weapon that causes hull craps. We've been hit by a weapon that causes hull cracks. The splinters that deck and make this ship take on water. There's a water gauge above the hull health. If this reaches the top, the ship will sink. Ah. This will warn you when your water gauge has reached critical levels. The bell will also sound when your hull health is dangerously low. Act decisively when you hear the bell or you may sink. All right, you can repair the hull by, I guess. You can just do it without reading that. It's kind of obvious. You click it, and then you right-click it, and then they go and they do whatever you tell them to do. When you do that. Uh, empty the pumps by clicking on these, I guess. <coughs> Pump until the body gauge is empty. Nice. That was quick. <coughs> okay. Now what's next? One more barrage incoming. Right. You dodge it. You just have to. Ooh, what barrage is that? <coughs> Flaming ammunition. Fires yield section damage into your crew. That will spread unless your crew extinguish them. Ah, just like FTL. And now we are getting somewhere. You extinguish that, you extinguish that, you help me extinguish that. Not finished. Can I hold shift and queue up commands? Nope. Unlike FTL. We're out of range with stale out men. Right. That was a close one. Click the highlight button to go to the exploration. Done. Escape capture. You're in a great danger while well, you're so close to the cult fortress. Sweet. This is explanation mode. You move your ship by clicking on an area. If you prefer, you can hold down the mouse button. Your ship will move toward wherever. You position the mouse cursor. Okay. Ah, all right. So how far do I get to move? Unlimited, unlimitedly? Oops. Okay, I'm going to have to move away from where they're attacking. Nice. Mm, cool. You can see the whole map by clicking the highlighted button. Huh, it's a very small map. I guess that would be the end.
This is a map of the immediate area. The surrounding frame marks the limits of your exploration. Beyond them lies tumultuous seas, far too dangerous for a captain to travel or to return from. Reach new areas by navigating through well-mapped safe passages known as gates. You must now escape through the gate currently highlighted at the bottom of the screen. For now, the others cannot be opened. Interesting. They've put gates and walls around the entire sea. Can I click it? No. I have to return to the exploration map and sail there. <coughs> Fair enough. Navigate to the gate to the bottom of the map. Use the buttons to view the map if you need to remember where it is. Or, I just figured out you can scroll the mouse wheel. You don't have to click the button. Why don't they just tell me to do that? It's so much quicker and easier. Oh, there's something interesting. The gate is locked. Locked gates can be opened by completing a series of events. I'm more interested to see what this is. It's ten. Something. Ten something. That icon. That I can't click. Let's attend this. Gold. Maybe it's ten gold. Didn't look like gold to me. It looked like something else. I'm sure I'll learn what they are later. <clears throat> oh, I got no choice but to go here. Man the guns. We open no mess. All right. Fair enough. Let's see what they got. Remember the lessons you have learned so far? One. It was like three. Man the cannons facing the enemy. One crew member can make... One crew member can man an entire battery of cannons. Really? How much is a battery? Okay, that's not good. They could have told me that things happen very quickly. I click on cannons to man them. Go man them. Do it. Weapons will reload of cannons to man them. Okay, kill. Keep cannons manned until their reloading bar is blue. Got it. What's this do? We cannot do anything at the moment. Man, those guys are going to get smacked. <coughs> now the weapon's loaded. Open fire. Left click the weapon button to select it. Mouse cursor will turn into a crosshair. Move this over the ship. Right click to confirm the order. That's it. Okay. You can now set a weapon to auto fire by right clicking the weapon button. Fire. Pause the game by pressing the space bar. You can also click the highlighted pause bar to the top right. I prefer to hit the space bar. Okay. Once you dismiss this message, you can issue the order while the game is paused. Make use of this if things are spiraling out of control. Got it. Each crewman has a specialty. Crewman is assigned to this specialist role will confer bonuses. This efficiency will often mean the difference between glory and the briny depths. Over the mouse over the highlighted icons in the bottom left of the screen to see their skills. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Gee, the captain is the best. Um, you will only see this information if you have the right level of visibility, which is modified by your distance, the level of your crow's nest upgrade, and certain combat modifiers such as fog. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's the enemy sections, is it? Okay. How do I progress forward? Fascinating. Maybe I need to, um... Maybe I need to, uh pause for it to advance. Oh no, I just have to do what it says. Fair enough. 
You can hover the mouse over any object or UI element to gain additional information about a tooltip. When you've issued your orders, unpause the game by pressing the space bar or left clicking the pause button. Want to get close to the enemy ship? The distance bar on the far left shows you how far you're away from them. You can select your target distance by clicking on these buttons. Click on the highlighted button. Yada yada yada. Swivel cannons. The enemy wants to keep the distance so they keep moving away from you. The top right of the screen is the enemy section's health. The what? The top right of the screen is the enemy section health. I guess that's that. Catch up to them if we damage their mast sections. Alright, so. Um, ban the chain shot swivel gun and get it fully loaded. Dang, we are taking of enemy fire. Okay, so once it's fully loaded. Chain shot can only aim at the sails, but deals high damage to them. When it's ready to fire, left click on the weapon button to select it. Move the crosshair over the sails. When the crosshair turns white, right click to fire. Keep firing a chain shot until the enemy masses are damaged. Distance here, the swivel gun in range. Okay. This one's grape shot. It's anti personnel weapon man. Get it fully loaded. Alright. You, bro, man that. Oh, hang on. Damn that. firing order. Well, I guess it's better to get those two to know to do it. Hurry up. No? Nope. Now I can get all three at least. Oh yeah, that was great. The 
that's around the enemy. They've stopped taking actual damage, I guess, because it's the tutorial. You can perform maneuvers like this. When the maneuver bar is full, the maneuver bar is charged. When somebody is manning the helm, somebody with a high navigation skill will fill up the bar faster. I guess this is the helm. And where's my navigator? This guy. So. Yeah, I already have. I already have you here. Um. What? The maneuver bar. Where is the maneuver bar? There. So, maybe the navigator should go command the ship and you command the cannons. Technically, we don't need to. Oh, we can repair the mast. Lovely. Do it. Done. Almost. Good. The bar is fully charged. Maneuvers begin to make it. First things first, though, why don't I repair something? Cannons are a little bit damaged. Can I repair them? No, oh, I guess not. Just look at them. Okay. When you're ready, press the highlighted button to ram. King okay, sends so the ram button. Ramming damages enemy hull. Wheels can only be initiated as high as a big ship. Do it. Ram button. One moment. Certain actions like randoms cause a brace for impact test. Failing the test means crew fall to the deck, temporarily interrupting what they're doing. The brace occurs. The highlight button will become active present time, otherwise, you will fail the test. As this is for time, we'll let you press the button now. There. Now what? Here we go. That was cool. Then we failed the brace test. Impact even caused when the crew be knocked overboard. Nice. They can man the wench at the back of the ship to save them. If they don't make it in time, they will drown. There he goes. Your old wench is highlighted. If any of your crew in the water, be sure to man the winch to rescue them. Got it. Now, to finish them off, you can pull back and keep shooting out. Or at this range, you can even choose to board them. Of course, we will board them. You can triumph by killing all the enemy crew, destroying the hull, making it take on too much water. Keep the pressure on the enemy. Dictate the battle. Make sure they are reacting to you, not the other way around. Great advice, sir. Now, if I'm to board, how do I do that? Maybe you grab everyone and then... Oh, you could probably stay there, but you guys jump on there and finish them off. Is that how it goes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. react as aggressively as we don't leave you for a tougher fight next time. I will. So that's it. 20 bucks on the whole ship. You don't need to worry about repairing your sections or healing your crew. It happens automatically when you go to the deliberation map. So give you water pumps going back to the estimation mode when empty your water cage too. Are you ready to press the button for returning the exploration view? Don't need to worry about that. It's not. No, I don't. It automatically repairs everything. Nice. Okay. This is the world map it shows. Which other exploration areas you can travel to the front gate? 
Travel between maps as supplies cast. Left click another map to set your destination. Interesting. Interesting. You announce to the crew that you need to take some stock and are not to be disturbed. In the captain's cabin, you find some clean clothes, most likely belonging to the poor previous occupant before the cult had their way with the ship. It feels good to finally be out of your flowing ceremonial robes. You stow them neatly away, knowing they may yet have their use. Examining yourself in the mirror. Oh, character creation time. You're the severed one. Once devoted to father was all the future you needed. Now something's changed. You are no longer an unquestioning crucial part of the whole. Now you are severed and free. You can edit your name in the crew management menu. Okay. You don't even recognize your face looking back at you. Who are were you? All you're certain of is that this past was stolen away by being you know as father. Some spark within you pierced the fog of your blind devotion. Now you must kindle it. If you're to have any chance of remaking yourself, then the hunt for answers and revenge can begin. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, gee, the female is not that feminine looking. Interesting. All right, so really it shows that <laughs> you seriously do not have much in terms of options for character creation. I thought this would be something somewhat like Boulder's Gate, where you could change a lot of different things, but obviously not. It's just gender, age, and for that, they have the two genders, which is good to see. Alright, so I will use my alias, which I always use. Alright, let's do it. You reemerge under the deck, and the crew snap to attention. We may have escaped you again, but we are not yet safe. We must make port, then go our separate rays. It's me they're after. You return to your cabin and slump into a chair. Moments later, a strong undercurrent of exhaustion pulls you into a deep sleep. Still loved and always in his thoughts, you were the first. But he knew something within you had changed. Thus, you were marginalized, became a symbolic icon with no real power. You didn't care. Something in you was gaining strength little by little. Little by little, the flog was clearing. A sharp knock on your door snaps you awake. Moments later, you stride back on deck to issue commands. The cult fortress is far from inhabited lands. We'll need to navigate through open waters before we can find a port. Click the highlighted button to see your ship. Ah, nice. Review your ship. It allows you to change the default settings that will be used in combat. Press on the distance bar to see your preferred range. In combat, this will remain your ships. Automatically tries to be attempted. Okay, try that then. Saving crew positions. Saving your crew positions means that we'll start combat in your chosen place. Arrange your queue in the most optimal location of the best item. Alright, so. Me, the gunner, the gunner goes to the guns, the marine can also go to the guns, the navigator goes to the wheel. There's really not that much options to be honest. Technically captain should be on the wheel, but the navigator Mm. Yeah, you should go. So, what does the captain do? Not much, I suppose. The grape shot. Mm, that's not the grape shot. 
That is the Bast Smasher, whatever you call it. The chain shot. It reminds me of Sea of Thieves. <clears throat> that game's sweet. I feel like playing Sea of Thieves, actually. This seems to be a very so low paced game so far. Maybe it's because I'm in the tutorial. I'll give it some time. Maybe it will get faster. Um, either way, the best position for the captain is where? Still don't know. Might as well man the cannons with the uh, marine. Nothing much else to do. You only use that when you get close, apparently. Oh no, you can use it now. Great, I will. Saving positions. If you ever need to return to that, you can click that. Got it. The highlighted button can be used to bring the ship about. In battle, this can only be performed when you blows for the charge here. You can see the preferred side to face the enemy when you start a battle. It's useful if you equip each side with different styles of weapons, one short, the other long. When you're ready, press the highlighted button to return to the exploration blue. Exploration view. Okay. There's a lighthouse in the distance. Press the highlighted button to see where it's located. Ah, so you can see the lighthouse from far off. Nice. They have a surrounding fog of war removed here, visible upon your map, containing detailed tra charts of the local area, as well as providing high vantage points, saying the evidence will remove all fog of war in the map. Wonderful. Return to the exploration view by clicking that. So, we shall head that way then. Oh, cannot. We must continue trying to escape the call by fleeing from the exploration map. Locate. Gates and gate and complete the required number of events to unlock it. To sail in the lighthouse first, that will help you explore the area. In no danger. Leave the area quickly. Okay. Interesting. I wonder how time works. So if I hit this. Will everything remove itself immediately? It will. Fascinating. Let's have a look. Wrong button. Oh yeah, the entire map becomes visible. Do I like it? Yeah, it's alright. The teeth. Alright, and now I've got no idea where all these interesting things are. I wonder if there's like hidden things on the map, like if it's worth still exploring this area even though there's nothing there. It'd be fascinating to see. What's this guy do? Time of day? Trade route, raiding, raiding a trade route. Oh, plenty. Alright. So where's the next? Where's the next? Escape through the gate. Oh, all right. The nearest gate's here. Nope. Must be a specific gate they, they want me to go to. There, I guess. I reckon there's some interesting things to be had <clears throat> in this area. Looks like a land. Yada yada yada. Do you wish to investigate? Yes. Brandon. Um. You missed the start of a shadow brand director. You and appears you assume to be part of the cult. You listen intently to his diatribe, sessioning his allegiance. He signed up with his friend, the leader of Crony, but a backhand is a lawyer, if there's a front gentleman, don't even sound equal to Bond. Into this. Afraid we pushed. He was the only one you have not confirmed that you knew the free kind. You promise him that you'll have your own chance for revenge. He swears to you, but probably the he agrees. You haul him aboard. His desire for vengeance will serve you well. Continue. New crew member. Brandon, let's have a look. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon the Navigator. Now we've got two Navigators. Great. Well, 
I suppose it's better than one. It's gold. There's more gold than I got fighting that ship. So obviously you cannot scroll the map at the same time as shipping the map. You cannot click it. Interesting. Let's grab some gold. Noink. Fifteen fish. Current supplies. Lovely. Um, let's have a look to see what this guy is. I'm going to do four things before I can escape, huh? What are those four? Four quests? The tension on the ship is palatable to palatable. The tension on the ship is palpable, as two cult ships have been spotted in a hunting pattern. With some distance apart that are already converging on your position, what will you do? Blitz the closest ship, make for the gap between them both. You know what, I'm keen to have another battle. I'm going to blitz the closest ship. Paused. Alright. This is the first unscripted battle. Uh, right. 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 Okay. Everything is all on auto attack, so I guess. Can I attack different things? Okay, so I can attack the. Ah, uh, right, right. The sails and the med bay. What is that? Sick bay. Um, the cannons. Navigation. Cannons or navigation? You know what? You can attack the enemy weapons. You. You can attack. Can I click it? Yeah, you can attack the navigation. And you. I don't know what you do. Go man the cannon there, I guess. Um, you can attack the mast. Oh yeah. Alright, let's roll it and see what happens. fire automatically. Didn't I just tell them to do it? You attack the weapons. You? You? Attack navigation. You? Attack the mast. Do it. Yeah. Wastage. How much damage did we do? That much. Master's damage. Gee, didn't really do much to either of those systems of the ship, did it? Hmm, still fully operational. Alright. We'll let it, let it roll. Let it continue to roll. Oh, yeah. Master's really down low. They haven't even had a shot let off yet. Amazing. I'm gonna go move forward. Their masts are down so I can move forward. I guess that's the strategy that I know about. Jump on there and 
kill everybody is that surgeon navigator account. Guys, kill him. You guys, kill the captain. Let's see, here we go. Bay. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, so my navigator is on that too. Go use that. Yeah, I'm already at battle stations. Let's aim and make a brace. Fled. If I hit this, ooh, what does that mean then? Do I have another ship? Interesting. Interesting. All right, so I hit this one, they will go back. Sweet. All right, let's leave calm. Ah, right. The ship is already in a war, war for any attack. A bunch of healthy enemy lines, let's use it. Don't understand what they're talking about. They must be talking about the second enemy ship. Be better if they made that a little bit clearer. Anyway, let's kill it. The first one was easy. Thank you. Help that guy. So far, so simple. You attack sails. You attack navigation. You attack enemy weapons. Does that more starboard battery uh, mortar? Would you look at that? It won't make any difference. They will fall. The mast's already down. It's time to maneuver closer. Oops, I didn't do it. 
correct. Oh, the winch, of course. Man, the winch. Is that how it works? Doesn't seem to be doing anything. All my crew seem to be underwater. <clears throat> Yet they are apparently all perfect. Apart from you, McDonald, what's that? Old injury. Okay, it's probably because he went down that time. So, what do I need to? How do we get all my crew back? Maybe I don't need to. Maybe. Maybe they just swim back on and you just assume they do? That seems to be a rather weird oversight. Okay. Well, everyone's magically back on board again. Well, 100% on that. The 204. So that must have been an event. 10 ship, whatever that is. Ship? Hull. Ah, 10 hull repair. I'm gonna keep an eye on that next time, see if it's true. Okay. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Your, hips, your heart skips a beat as you notice cult colors flying high on the horizon. You maintain course and speed. After all, there's no reason to suspect you at this distance. As the minutes drag agonizingly on, the cult ship vanishes from sight completely. The crew allow themselves an extra ration of grog. You drop to your knees. It feels like a lightning storm inside your skull. You sense a massive ancient intelligence emerging from it. Scanning the horizon, you see an unnatural disturbance in the water and it's approaching fast. Full speed ahead. Ooh. Okay. 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 Not 100% on this guy. Really not, not keen on this bloke. Yep, not 100% keen on this guy at all. Okay. Can't avert your eyes as the royal closes the distance. Whatever it is will be upon you in mere moments. Okay. The Kraken. Yeah, not too keen on the Kraken. You're not prepared to best such a beast to fight it off and flee. When you maneuver bar is full, press the flee button to initiate your desperate retreat. The bar around the button will flip. It's this full, your ship will successfully flee. Okay, so, I'm just gonna survive until that bar is full. Got it. So, I guess I will be repairing as much as I can. Bad idea. Okay, just push the pause button because I freaked out for a second, but it's okay. 
the center of the temple is the bio ship. Ah, good. Attack that, attack that. Attack that. Attack that, attack that. Is that what we're doing? Fleet report attacks again. If you don't fill the time, you'll be repeatedly attacked. The bar will only charge if the shuttles of the ship's wheel. You get on the ship's wheel. So, I guess it will come back, it will attack again, and then defend. Alright. Through the spyglass you see a familiar face manning the helm and your heart sinks. Samuel's parents were some of your first initiates and when they perished you ensured the orphan was well looked after. Even after all these years you imagine he still looks up to you. You remember proudly watching as he was given command of his first ship. It didn't matter that it was a raggedly woman-like vessel. The same ship pursues you now, although he has clearly upgraded it in the meantime. What does he seek? Knowing Samuel, he probably has questions. You slow the ship, allowing him to move closer. Samuel, no thanks to you, was always devout. So you're not sure what you can say that will sway him to your cause, but there is a bond there you might just use to save him. You watch as the ship closes, his expression unreadable. Once within hailing range, he doesn't slow. It is then you realize your sentimentality has cost you. Samuel only has retribution in his heart. He probably thinks he's redeeming your soul. You resign yourself to battle. Poor Samuel's gonna have to go down. Alright, so. Samuel's moving away. It's all good. It's all good. What do you actually do here? Hang on, uh, what's the repair with me? So if I have two people manning the same cannon, does it do anything? Because all I see is it's, it's arming at exactly the same time. The guy doesn't seem to be doing anything. It just seems to be wasting his space there. Go there then, probably. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Does that mean this guy's gonna get damaged? Can he run away in time? Probably not. Okay, it's alright. What do I need to repair? Nothing. I can repair that a little. Actually, you know what? Man that. Smash that guy. You. The sick bay, the cannons. Full on attack the cannons. 
Creep shot in. Right, now we just wait here for a bit until everything goes according to plan. surrender nor give up until you had paid for your transgression as he fell the look on his face said it all why you can't even remember having family and friendships when not encouraged in the cult but samuel was dear to you you cannot stay here as you tell the crew to forget about salvage you struggle to keep your voice level how about of the crew actually surviving. Is that not a thing? Right. Escape through the gate. That's it. 404. Is there nothing else? Is there nothing else? It's not. I do like the graphics though. They are rather picturesque. Hmm. Everything unknown. 25 supplies. Interesting. What was Renata surprise? Supplies. That would be interesting. Let's blow it. True among That creature, the call worship here. It's part of the Colgate project. Do we focus your efforts on reaching for as soon as possible? For a second, if you guys All done. It's not bad so far. It's just taken a while for it to get into action, that's all. Chance your family captured capture me by point land, saved from that infernal monster. Fire <laughs> 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 
this one called House to which there is none. Fantastic. That's the arrow points there. I don't know how that works. Realistic. That would be important, right? So we go around the general area first. Once the ship is docked, the crew is seemingly reluctant to part ways. After all, they would still be prisoners of the cultists or worse without you. We suggest a farewell drink in the nearest tavern. The first round is solemn, each unable to stop dwelling on their own morbid thoughts. Another round, perhaps. The drinks flow, and the tension eases. As another empty tankard is banged on the table, the crew make life pledges to you. You manage to secure a cheap room with plenty of beds upstairs. Once you've slept it off, you can all part ways. Your headaches more than it should. An unease creeps through your body. Heavy mead is a different story. It's a ceremonial wine. How about we go just one more round? Shanties and ballads are butchered. Feet and occasionally bodies shake the tabletops. Just your typical evening in a dockside grog hall. I don't want to take off. I want to see what happens. A game of blades and everything ends with blood drawn. Money changes hands, but one refuses to let go, so the burly innkeep helps him fast and airborne out of the Door. All right, sleep time then. I wonder what happens if you keep on drinking. I had the sneaking suspicion that it would not have ended well. <laughs> but I'm still curious. Maybe it just keeps on going on and on. And on. I'm sure, yet it feels more familiar than that. What is this? Some of you cries out. <clears throat> Two shadowed forms. Really? Halifron. Superstitious folk tales made real. Downstairs, the innkeeper is dead. The first hint of dawn looms upon the horizon. Cabin discussion. Sit. Stop and listen intently when you speak up. You explain that the health you are on have always been out there. Unseen and preying on those who strayed to those who are always alone at night. Tell them of your headaches and how you feel there is some connection between those creatures, the Kraken, and yourself. You plan to go on the offensive to cut the head of the sea snake. Is not of admiration and amusement. They are not the heroes of old, any mythological sea watches. I force them to join you on the other suicide mission. Despite the regret, they leave. It's just you know. You're willing to learn to more information. The first step is building a shipwright before recruiting a small crew. Perhaps coin will buy greater loyalty. Ah, so they lost everyone. The shops where you can purchase new weapons and upgrades, obtain supplies, repair your ship, or purchase a new one. New gold and supplies around here. You can repair your hull by clicking one of these buttons. Your hull can be repaired in port. 
on this occasion we have repaired your health for free. Thank you very much. To buy weapons and upgrades, you drag them into the correct slot on your ship. Interesting. Purchased mortar by left clicking it onto the empty slot of your ship when it is over the correct slot. Release the mouse button to buy the weapon. Releasing the mouse button before it. You can sell your weapons and upgrades by dragging the slot on your ship to the sell box. You will get a reduced amount for selling things. Let's increase the number of cannons in one of our batteries. More cannons equals more damage. Click the plus button on one of your cannon batteries. Is that it? If you want to remind you of the weapons in your ship, hover over the mouse so you can walk by the spot if you know what it is. Now click the helmeted tab to see the upgrades. And supplies. Upgrades and booze, you can buy some upgrades in a similar way to weapons, dragging into the black slot. Okay. You can buy and sell supplies in the highlighted box. Clicking the minus button means you sell supplies and receive the displayed amount of gold. Similarly, clicking the plus button will buy supplies at the displayed gold cost. I don't need to read all this. Section upgrades. Um, gosh, performance something, 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 something. All right. You can improve sections by dragging. You can upgrade armor fires of that. Performance improvements per section. The helm will charge your removal bar. Higher mass will make your ship move faster. When changing distances. Upgraded sick bay is quicker at healing crew. All right. Okay. Armor, hull, cracks, fires, something. Alright, cool. You can browse your sh new ships to purchase by selecting the highlighted tab. When you're finished in the shops, press this button to leave and return to the main port. Interesting. So, fire resistance, hull resistance, repair speed. Interesting. You know, none of these are. Oh, right, so you buy, you buy performance for 90 gold, you grab it, and you have to upgrade every single piece of ship. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot. I'm not too keen on it. Um, alright, this is where you buy actual ships. For like what, a hundred bucks? Only one battery per side has offensive and limited. Oh! So it's almost like my current ship is better than some of these junks. So, what is my current ship? How can you tell? Maybe you can't tell. It looks like a frigate. <clears throat> That's what it looks like. Maybe it is a cutter. Maybe it's the lamest ship there is. Um, it looks like that though. In real life. In real life it looks like a brig. Maybe it's a brig. Anyway. Um, I suppose what else we got? Combine of the cannon, ship storage, weapons and upgrades can be stored here. Round shot, 
What's this? That's a round shot. That's a chain shot. Okay, so that's chain, mortar, grape shot. <clears throat> Alright. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Might as well buy another cannon unless there's something else I need. Weapons and repairs, upgrades and supplies. Oh, here we go. Alarma. Uh, especially something shipwreck events and moving action. Fun diving, bell, creek before, collecting captain's logs. Maybe I need that then. <clears throat> What's that? What's that? Empty ship slot. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, okay, so you can buy a lifeboat. Hell spikes. Ooh, what's that? Little spikes that added to the sides of the ship, increasing the damage caused when ramming. Also causes damage to enemy ships when they ram you. Well, I like ramming. Maybe I should get hull spikes. <clears throat> what have we got there? You can't see what you've actually got. Some of these things you can't see what you've actually got. It's a little weird. Like, how do you, how can you tell? You can tell what that is. And like, is that it? Um, I think I'll get health spikes. So I can afford to get health spikes. And I can afford to get a cannon upgrade. <clears throat> Which would be great. Would be great. Alright. Perfect. Alright. We done here. Let's go. Make your way to the docks and taverns and notice a few cultists in the midday bustle. It's easy for you to slip up your waist. It's harder, however, to resist slipping down the road. Watching a tavern door, I hand grab your shoulder and I'm trying to fight to be scared. These guys seem to have tired us with the rush. We don't seem to get along with us. She left her to sell to my heel. They had to swallow the big punch. Fascinating. All right, well, <clears throat> can only afford one guy, Jack. It's a sailor. Good at repair. Good at that. Special repair. Mm -hmm. Invasive maneuver. Dodge. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, looks like Jack, the sailor, is coming on board. Hang on, can I fix this guy somehow? Increase morale. I do that, we'll be able to afford Jack. So I'm grabbing Jack. Great. It'll be good. Uh, can't afford that anyway. Alright. Let's do it. Tavern, Magistrate, Explorer's Guild. Tavern? Interesting. This place doesn't have any of those others. Let's pretend to port them. 
you leave. Toward the docks, just swabbing with a growing crowd, dozens of ships flying around the cold distance of are approaching. Curiosity and tension is palpable. Time to leave. Several ships seem to have some more in here attempting to escape the new cult vessels. Some slow down and surrender. Others speed past the blockade. Some engage on the back of the cult of ships bearing down fast as they do much choice. Guns. I guess I want to switch sides. This might be an interesting thing to do. But what do we have here? Oh my. I don't know who that is. <clears throat> Someone interesting for certain. Let's start by maneuvering a little bit closer. Um, sailor. Man the mortar cannon, I guess. Navigator, man the grape shot. What can the mortar do? It can smash things. Looks like a mortar is another version of a grape shot. Smack them then. Who's this? Heavy rain will naturally extinguish the fires. That's great. We're getting close already. Smack of the masts. Can I smack something with that? Oh, I gotta click that. Um, smack the motor cannons, I guess. You smack the navigations. You should be good. that guy doing? It's a ramming time. Brace for sure. impact! Halibron! Oh, don't we want to swim brakes when we board you? In case the man finds me, I'm going to have a with a red ski. Alright, that's not good.
at speed. Go. We won. The more cold ships here in the sail. All right. Everybody, return to your positions. Done. Next. What's that? Leader. Alright. Highlighted bar at the bottom of the screen represents the ghost of the cult. How to track you down. Once all the balls in the cult ship are fully lit, you will be chased by the cult ship, the Hellophon, or the Kraken itself. When dealing with the events using cult symbol, you can decrease the bar by defeating the enemy. However, you flee, the cult will be on to you, the bar will increase. So we will not destroy the ship then. Oh great, there's a Halion. So best you can do I guess, man those, man those. Man the grape shot, man the mortar. Let's go as close as we can. They're not going to let up. Interesting. Kill that. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so. Actually, let's tell this guy. The Helifron. <coughs> I am really uncertain about that Helifron critter. Grape shot that guy. Maybe that would help. You though, gotta man that. Grape shot. Grape shot? Why is he not being highlighted as red? It's odd, maybe you can't. Alright, he's coming. Body. No more, no more stuffing around with those guns. Halley front! Uh, prepare to board. Prepare to kill the Halley front and move closer as well. Kill Halley front now.
rude. What's this? Negative 10 something. Well, that didn't go exactly as I expected. <clears throat> I was remembered to board uh, earlier than 50% of their hull. Um, <clears throat> remember that. Yes. What else we got? Is everywhere. It's not just a few people. It is absolutely really. And how big is this map? Oh, there we go. We got smoke on the horizon reveals itself to be a cult ship in some distress. Never had sustained damage from prior battle. Well, some other means might as little to you as you watch the crew struggle to contain the fire. Let's finish it off. Destroy all cult members. Don't leave combat, this will keep on filling that with water. Until what? Until it dies?
All right then, so I think this is a good time as any to leave it there. Um, my first run at the game, <clears throat> it's not too bad, it's not too bad. You know, it's, uh, it's got a certain amount of strategy involved, but at the same time it seems rather simple. Um, each battle so far has been relatively the same. To destroy the moths, the masts, get close to the ship, ram them, board them, and take them down. Um, then when you get to a dock, I suppose you would repair. And um, so far it has been that way. So, hmm. I'm sure things will get more interesting as time goes on. But as for right now, it's rather, um, you know, it seems rather simple. I'm keen to learn about all the different kinds of ornaments you can get to your ship and all that. But <clears throat> it is somewhat similar to the um, Faster Than Light FTL game, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, looking forward to playing this more when I've got some more time to do so. Alright. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll catch you all later.